Greetings and welcome to In Conversation with Trevor, brought to you by the Nyaradza Group. I go beyond the headlines and beyond the sensational. Today I'm in conversation with Nati O, artist, singer and songwriter. Enjoy this interesting conversation. <music> Obstacle could have come, give me done. Quandava couldn't look off far with me go. High is the only road, when I couldn't live, live. No obstacle could have come, give me done. Quandava couldn't be chicken and macomo. High is the only road, when I couldn't live, live. Then in the chingo of fire, fire. Nanny wanna wanna fire, fire. Aha, handy pity power. And the pity power, power, been through the fire, fire. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I love that song, Nati O. Nati O, um, otherwise, Carrington Simbarashe Chuwaza. Yeah. Welcome to In Conversation with Trevor. It's an honor, it's a pleasure to be around, and thank you for having me. I, I loved you uh, starting us off uh, singing that song. Yeah. And, it, and the Perry Power, what went, you th what went through you as you were putting that song together? Talk to us about your uh, creative pre pre uh, process, rather, when it comes to that song. It's me, it's me going through a process, an, an expressional process, trying to express uh, part of the life I have lived in the music this far. The challenges, the hardships I faced, the victories incorporated, mm. and all of these trying to put them in one and express them in musically so that everybody kind of fits in mm. despite you being in whatever speciality that you're in. It's a song that encompasses everybody because everybody has a story behind them. Everybody has something they need to tell the world mm. from inception to the point that they are right now in their life and that was me kind of articulating my story mm -hmm. and then musically you know I've been through a lot of situations as a musician and not only just as a musician as an individual in life mm -hmm. for you to be a great individual you have to go through certain things mm -hmm. so you say Andy Perry Power is a composition that reflects your life your yeah. ups and downs, and that you've had struggles. Yeah. Talk to me about that life that ends up, you know, influencing you to 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 create such a powerful song. What has it been like being Nati O, twenty nine years old? Yeah, you know, from like every, I would love to believe that everybody has a dream, and it is that dream that propels you to engage in in processes in, in in ways you know that would end up you know actualizing you to be who you want to be and i've always had a dream of being a great individual great in in all sorts because greatness doesn't have no major no boundary i wanted to be just a great individual i want to be somebody that impacts lives you know i want to be somebody that brings joy you know, and I want to be a light that reflects onto the world, and I want to bring all of these good things. But you know, from for you to be that person, you need to be also, or you need to conquer certain things mm -hmm. in your own lane. So yeah, that that whole process from point A to point C or point Z, they all of these things that I was going through, you know propelled me to, to 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 be at this stage right now. I feel like I'm I'm not yet there, but I'm also somewhere I never really thought I would be. Wow. So it's an ongoing process of mm. just trying to purify your your inner self mm. towards your goal. Mm. Purify the process, purify the act mm. like you learn mm. from each and end of this. Yeah. Fascinating as you're talking now about the hardships. And, and conquering things. One of the things that I've conquered myself is is fear, fear. Uh, and and doubt. Mm. 
uh, doubting myself quite a lot, uh, but I found a way of dealing with that. What is it that you have conquered in your life? It's the same. We all fight fear, you know, and without fear, you can literally cannot be a winner because you have to have all of that, you know, but more of the times I'm, I'm overly confident about myself and what I do. I believe I influence, I have an aura around me that influences the environment that I'm in. Mm -hmm. But I've battled, uh, you know, uh, resistance and probably realizing that the scope doesn't really relate with me the way I wanted to relate to. You're always around people who don't really understand you, which is a great thing because, you know, I understand great, 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 great individuals are misunderstood most of the times. You're like an elusive figure around. People People want you to fit yes. within certain... Yes, they want you to fit, but you, you're you a misfit. Yeah. And what you do, they don't see it quickly. Mm. It's like you're an elusive figure. They always catch up later and say, oh, we see what he was trying to do. So I was battling resistance most of the times. I'm always battling resistance enough of the times, trying to make my environment color up with me because maybe I'm in a different space. I see different life vision and sometimes it's just too pristine and too forward for where I am, you know, and I'm overly confident about mm. these things mm. which kind of unsettles a lot of things enough of the times. And a lot of people, a lot yes. of people so a I'm, number of times. So I'm battling, I'm battling stability, mm -hmm. consensus, you know, with the environment, mm. you know, I end up trying to fit in. Mm. I end up trying, trying to lower myself to fit the environment. So that How does that feel, lowering yourself to fit a certain environment when you are a misfit? It's a, it's a, it's a big job. Sometimes if you're not careful, it might mar your substance for good. So you need to, to, to be in the balance. And I believe you have to get to a point where mm. you no longer care about fitting in. Mm. You actually care about inviting the energy that you want around you. Because I know the, there is an aura in, 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 in this earth that governs the energy. And it's all energy. And it kind of corresponds to the nature of thoughts that you, that you keep. So I, I always make sure I am me and I don't want to try to, to, to fit in. I want to maintain what is me and what is for me will be attracted mm -hmm. naturally and it will come through. Because we are all unique, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We are all different. We mm -hmm. don't have to be like the, the second person. Is, is that the sense that you, yes. you live by? We're all unique. Yeah. And what is for you will come through for you because mm -hmm. it's all energy at the mm -hmm. end of the day. What you give out comes back. Mm -hmm. The nature of thought. You have the nature of thoughts you have reflect and they bring back, uh, likewise, the similar energies back to you. Fascinating and very deep. I mean, and uh, you're 29 years old. You were born, like I said, when we started, Carrington, Simbarashe, Chuwaza. Mm. Why your stage uh, name, mm -hmm. your name as an artist is Nati O. Du Bois. Yes. Uh, and the short is uh, short name is Nati O. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about how you came to to that, name. to that name. Yeah, you know, so it's creatives, the process of creating. Yeah, you you create based on the mood, zone, uh, times, and what's going on that time. That time when I got the name Nati O, it was at school. I was at school. Uh, the name Nati came from the term naughty. I was kind of a naughty kid at school. You know, mischief. The right way, the proper that you would see that, you know, he's just overwhelming. I had too much energy. So they called me the, the naughty operator at school. Ah. Yeah, the O is for operator, you know. And then going deep is I discovered my artistic, uh, you know, juices. Now being, I was a dancer, uh, I was doing anything that had to do with, with art. I was creative in, in, in all sorts, discovering that I had this musical 
you know, juice inside of me. I had to create the, the name to suit my outer ego as a musician. So Nati now is, is in English, it's, it's an English term which mm. means mad mm. or crazy. Mm. So crazy in what sense? Crazy in a musical way. Mm. The way I create, you know, the way I, I resonate with the sound. Mm. The sonics is mm. very crazy. It's not normal. It's, it's a bit outside of the normal paradigm. So now it was the Nati operator. At the same time, the Nati outside. Mm. An outsider. I'm always trying to, you know, I always act outside, behave outside. I don't want to be boxed in a certain corner. I always work outside that box. Mm. Whatever it is that I do, it's a bit above the normal, you know, what is considered normal. So yeah, that's how Nati O came to be. And um, the other thing, there was this R&B song, sing, songwriter, singer from United States of America. His name is Omari. And so that time I used to be a dancer, hip hop, and I was inspired by him. So the O has a lot of O's within it, outside. Omari and Operator within it. Wow, that's powerful. And, and um, O de Boy, what, what does that mean? O de Boy. So uh, it means it's that's in in in, in Jamaican patwa the boy, so it means the boy uh-huh. in English. So it was Natio the boy. Uh, that has always been. You know, people used to call me oh mm. Natio the boy, Natio the boy, Natio the boy. It's Natio the boy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And uh, you you your professional career uh, Natio started in 2013. Talk to me before. Nine, uh, 20, 2013 rather. What were you doing? Which schools did you go to? Um, so yeah, um, 2013 really, it was me just affirming myself that now I'm going for this. Anything else that I'm doing it cannot amount to, you know, it, like passion took over. I've been a mu- musical individual growing up, but then 2013 is when I really, I really realized that, you know what, a, my mom wants me to be an auto electrician. She wants me to be an accountant. She wants me to be all of these things. But what makes me lose sleep, I cannot lose sleep over these things. I'm getting bored. I'm feeling stuffed. I don't, I'm no longer, I, I've lost my, myself. I've lost touch of who I am, really. But what makes me tick, like, really... At the end of the day, passion will always take over. And mm. if you are within the passionate realms, you can live life. Um, I went to uh, a level, Cranbourne Boys Eye. You know, and my mom wanted me to, to be an accountant. She wanted that time. Changed a lot. I wanted to be an auto electrician sometime. I wanted to be an engineer. I, you know, I wanted to be all of these things. So it was a process. You change, you move into different everything. When you're growing up, you're trying to rediscover yourself. Because the biggest thing I've discovered, mm. the biggest challenge is to discover who you are. Oh, oh, wow. Whilst you are who you are. Have you discovered who you are? Yes. You have. Who are you? I am Natio and I create mm-hmm. energies. I create energies. I create every, because in, in sense, in, in a biblical sense, we we're born in his likeness. We we're born in God's likeness. So we are to some extent mini gods. So we create in his likeness. Mm-hmm. So music, creation. It lives through us. Yes. Creating a song that will impact the next person. Mm-hmm. Thinking about that, that whole process, mm-hmm. that whole creative process. Mm-hmm. That's me. I create an energy that can heal mm, someone. Mm. I create an environment. I give intangible wealth. I do all within that paradigm. I am me. Mm. That's not you. Mm. So I discover myself. I am a musician. And I am born to deliver. What did What did mom say about that? When up to now she we, wanted you to be an accountant. Yeah, yeah and, you know. A, a, a motor mechanic. So up to now, that conversation still, <laughs> you know. I believe that's the nature of mothers. So sometimes in between we are okay, everything is fine. Then you're like, okay, so 
you really decided to. <laughs> Like I'm I, I, I going to change your mind about yeah, this thing? I'm, I'm still doing my, my studies, though. Uh, what are I, you studying? What are you studying? Telecommunication systems. Okay. And I do a lot of things. And sometimes when I get time, because w- one thing for sure, make the black mind read. Ah, Educe ah, the black mind. Wow. The more you are educed, the more you are exposed. The more you read and the more you, you gather knowledge, the better you become mm. as an individual. Mm. So I've done... Marketing certified digital marketer. Yeah, still doing my telecoms. I put it on hold because now I'm in a point. I'm at a point where it's just overwhelming mm. with, with the music. I've been moving a lot, and I can literally. But I'm not cutting off this my cards. I have to finish because mm. yeah, my mother also is the always like. So when are you gonna finish that? Uh, Telecommunications. Uh, are you planning to enroll university, maybe on a blog release or something like that? She that conversation comes in, and it's mm. an important conversation. Every time I yeah. know when we sit two hours, three hours, there's gonna be that part mm. where she asks you. So if you decided to like leave the school for good, <laughs> don't you think you need to finish that? I'm like, okay. What what does she say about who Nati O has now, become? What does she say? She's she's she she never used to like that. There is a norm. Unfortunately, all parents kind of had it, and I believe now, I I I I, I have stood to be a, a usable testimony. Mm. Music can be a career that really can do a lot of good for you around. You can use that as a tool mm. to change your life. So my mom never really used to buy this musical thing as something that could, you know, that I could sustain, that even she could depend on. But now, you know, she's pleased. She even goes around, you know, being her, talking to her friends. But what does she do? What does mom do? My mom is, you know, she's, she's her. She, she's... <laughs> In, in in essence, you know, she's just her. She, what do I say? She's she's there. She's just her. She does what all moms do. You know, they're everywhere, trying everything mm. to just make their, mm. their, their 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 lives go on. You know, but now she she was she was in the medical field for a long time. You know, doing things, but then now she stay at home. Proud. My son does this. My son does this. Encouraging other moms to let their kids do music because my son did this. She took these awards, uh, did this, mm. bought me this. Mm. Uh, you know, he's flying. You know, this, this, uh, like most of the times, commenting on what the radio people are saying. So if I, if I miss an interview on radio or Something is happening on radio. It's my mom who tells me. Mm. I know. So this presenter was saying this about you. The people were commenting like this. The people were that kind of thing. That's mm. her now. Mm. The, the, the one thing that I, I, I have taken time to listen to your song. And of course, uh, Kwandava Kure, Andy Perry. Uh, those are my favorites. It's clean music. The, the, the lyrics are very clean. Is that deliberate and why? When everybody else is singing four-letter words, it's not deliberate. I feel like it's it's it's, it's the, it reflects my essence. Nothing about me is fake. I don't sell things that are not real. Because in the, the day, realness sells. You have to sell what is authenticity real. Authenticity sells. Authenticity sells. You have to sell what is real because <laughs> the people out there need to relate and resonate with you based mm. on energy. Mm. So if that's why you have these young artists now in this modern world we're living in. We have young artists coming in and going out at a, at a very appalling rate. But if you are real, and what you sell is real, mm-hmm. that means it stays. Because when you are real, when you are authentic, you don't have to make an effort about being authentic, isn't it? Yes, you don't try. You don't you try. You're just yeah. expressing yourself in a way that... But when you're trying to copy others, you have to make an effort. You have, you have to, to work make at an, it. Yeah, and you have to. It's an effort after effort because you need to cover up. You don't have to forget that you, the last time you cheated your way onto this. <laughs> so you have to cover up every time. So it's a process. But with me, I'm real. I'm as real as you see me. What I sing about is 
inspired by the realities around me. Enough of these things I've gone mm. through them. Mm. Enough of these things I have seen them. Mm. So I just express. Mm. And it goes out and people resonate with it. It's an energy. It's just you knowing how to send that energy to the people. Mm. As Nyaradzo, we strive to continuously bring convenience to our clients. Nyaradzo Group is proud to introduce Sawi, a new virtual chatbot assistant on WhatsApp. With Sawi, you are now able to interact with us from the comfort of your home and can be assisted anytime via WhatsApp. With life assurance products, diaspora products, applying and assessing your policy, payment platforms, claims information, and any other queries concerning payments, policy information, or products and services, Simply WhatsApp Sawi on plus two six three seven one two double nine two eight nine two or register and start interacting and receiving notifications from Sawi on WhatsApp. Now join in and experience a new level of convenience twenty four hours a day with Sawi. I like your. Uh your tagline, Ability Extension. Ability Extension. Um, talk to me about the meaning of that. Ability Extension, it means you're extending your ability. Like, let's say, in, in, in short, we try to break it down and sim simplify it. You are extending your abilities. Your abilities are internalized. So, in the broad sense, you are broadening your functionality campus. Mm -hmm. You are trying to work outside the box. You're saying, yes, I, I, I was born Carrington Simbanashi Chiwatsko, but I can be Natio. What's Natio? Natio is, is a super outer ego out of that. I'm saying it's the never-ending pursuit of growth. Mm. You're literally seeking growth every time. And you're literally moving in a way that is not limited, that is not, you know, like boxed. I always work outside. You can't be contained. I can't be contained. That's the mm, energy. Mm. You, you can't be contained. You're always outside. You're always emerging. You're always emerging, mm. no matter what. And, and talk to me about the choice of Patois, the Jamaican uh, yeah. language. Yeah. What, why did you choose that as a way of expressing your musical talent? For me, it goes deep. Mm -hmm. It goes deep, deep into... We go way back to 1980. We go way back to 1980. Bob Marley. Um, I believe Zimbabwe is one of the countries that he came to. One of the countries that he even said that he loves. And I believe he even came here on his own budget to perform for free for Zim independence. He was a force to our history in line with the liberation struggle. Bob Marley was Jamaican, mm. reggae superstar. Mm -hmm. And since that time, when Bob Marley left this land, he even sang a song for our country, Zimbabwe, before we, we, we were even liberated, mm. right? Mm. So since that time, Bob Marley feel, uh, kind of left a seed in this country. That's why Zimbabwe is a reggae dance nation. It's a reggae oh, slash dance dominated scene. We love this music more than any other. And I believe it's, that, that is the root, Bob Marley coming to Zimbabwe and leaving a seed. Mm -hmm. And that's where I come from. Okay. This music, I resonate to it. I feel like that's us. Mm -hmm. So Jamaican part now. Now it's me going deep into why was Marley here? Why did he love Zimbabwe? Who was he? He was Jamaican. I look into Jamaica. I resonate. I love the culture. I feel like we are one people. Mm. And I love how they express themselves through the music. That's me falling for, for the culture. And that's me using Patwa in everything that I do. Have, have you learned Patwa? How have you... Still learning. Still learning. Yeah, I, I learned Patwa. And I have a lot now. I have a lot of Jamaican friends from artists, producers. I've been working with a lot of Jamaicans. And I try to I meet a lot of these Jamaicans. I study the culture, study the language, read what this means, like it all starts there. 
it's all with, with the, you trying to understand what they say. Mm. So I've been learning the Paswa language. I've also been learning their culture and their history, mm. you know. Let's go now to your big songs, um, Nati O. Um, Kwandava Kure, 2014, it, it, it rose uh, in the charts and became number three. Bugatti, I like the video. Um, it uh, went up to number two in uh, Norway iTunes. And uh, Reggae Forever album, number one on worldwide reggae, top, one, top 200. Um, and then Jehovah Musati I love that. I've listened to that a number of times and I love it. Does that speak about, is that your faith uh, coming through? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Had, had, did you feel that God had left you behind, had uh, forgotten you? No. Nah. It's, um, it's, it's a futuristic cry. Not for me alone, but for everybody. It's like um, me saying, you know, in, 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 as, we, as, we, as, we, as we leave, as we, as we live life, as we go on through the days, uh, God did not leave us, yeah. you know. Uh, inspired by just a situation, I think we're going through COVID time. Yeah, all right. Intense, just the inception of COVID times, you know, two years ago, and there was an intense pandemic and there was a full lockdown. And it came to my mind, that, you know what? A futuristic cry, like a hopeful message that you would send out there. Wow. That people can use and work with it, and say Jehovah I'm sad to see. Mm. Whatever that, whatever. And and it resonates with a lot of people. Equally, Kwanda Vakure resonates with all of us because all of us have walked journeys. All of us have conquered things. We have succeeded. We have failed. And that song does encapsulate uh, each one of our journeys. Is that your experience, sir? For real. Mm. For real. That has been, you know, my my life that has been me experiencing and also seeing everybody has a story everybody has a starting point we go through processes we go through things for us to be where we are today there is a story behind everybody has a story to tell and enough of the times people are going through struggles fights hurdles and all of these things just to be where they want to be life is not easy in essence, you have to fight for what you mm. want. Mm. And Mustard Seed, your first album with uh, 14 tracks released in 2021, has has done very well. Um, the last time I checked, it, was, it had over a million uh, streams. Mm -hmm. And uh, the track Andy Perry, which is there, is perhaps one of my favorite uh, pieces that you've uh, that you've done. Talk to me about what Mustard Seed, the album, means to you. Well, the Mustard Seed album to me means a lot because that this this was me saying, this was me vocalizing my faith and actually acting on it. You know, all those who know me from where I, I come from, where I've started, I've always had this ambition. I've always had this vision. I've always stood for what I believe in musically. And I believe I'm still going there. You know, I'm still approaching my pinnacles. But from a biblic, coming from a biblical verse, inspired by a biblical verse, as, as, as long as you have faith, as small as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. This is me saying, I am a seed. I'm going to transform into a big tree how that is the process now I'm, I'm, I'm engaging. Mm -hmm. So releasing this album, this was like my first step to the process, becoming a big tree. If you look at me, my posture, I, I look very small, but I do great things. Absolutely. That's a seed for you. That's a mustard seed for you. Check the qualities of mm -hmm. the mustard seed. It's a very small seed that covers a lot of ground. Mm -hmm. It's a small seed that grows into a big, big, big tree. Mm -hmm. It's a seed that doesn't succumb to harsh exterior conditions. And that's me. I've been through a lot of things that, that didn't stop me. 
went through or processes hard, difficult, you know, things that would have discouraged any man from pursuing their dreams. That didn't stop me. I'm still here. I emerged powerful every time I was delivered. That's the message. And I am growing into a big tree. I want to bring the Grammy or the BET for, for, for my nation one day. I want to be the biggest musician that has ever walked on this land, on this African continent. I want to influence just beyond musical boundaries. I want to be an icon, mm. an inspiration to the generation. Wow. Somebody that when people look at, study my path, study my trajectory, mm. they would get inspired. They would learn a lot from it. This is where I'm going. That's wow. where the big tree is. Wow, I, I am I am so impressed by you, um, and I have no doubt in my mind that uh, you are already a big person. There's something that strikes me about you: you are very confident, but you are very humble. Explain to me that. Explain that to me. Confident but very humble. Well, is it, yeah, there is a saying. Uh, they say. Those who have it do not show it. Those who do not have it want try to, to flaunt it. Yes, want to flaunt it. It's like, um, what example should I give? Um, there is this, I love dogs. I used to have this small Dutch hound. It was, I think, two, three years older than the bigger dog that I had. So the situation is, this small dog knows that I am older than this one. That this one is more gigantic. So what does this small one mm, do? Mm. He always <laughs> tries to like show up, you know, aggress aggression and all of this to prove that he is older. That's with, 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 with all of these things translated to art. If you really have something in you, if you really have the necessary if you have the essential elements to be a great individual, you don't need to show for it. Mm. But if you don't have, there's something about you that always comes in. You're always trying to cover up. You're always trying to prove a point. You're always trying to, so that's me. <laughs> I, I don't feel like I need to, to, to come to the table and be a giant. Because you are a giant. Because it's within. Yeah. I feel it. I live it. I don't need to show it to people overly, you know. I don't need to flaunt it. It's not within me. So yeah, that's that, that's the principle I live on. You don't need to, to to be so loud to be to be heard. Silence is the biggest loudness. And yet you've not been silent. Um, you have shown us what you are capable of, and and the world is. Um, is, is impressed by what you've done. You already have a number of awards, um, Natio. 2015, you are nominated as the most promising Zim, Zim Dancehall art, artist. 2017, the best newcomer, uh, Zim Dancehall Awards. 2019, best male dancehall artist award at Star FM Awards. And 2022, Zim Awards, best male artist, best album, song of the year, that's Handy Pere Power. Nama Awards, Outstanding Male Artist, Outstanding Album of the Year. That's huge. You've collected these awards. Yeah. Humble, very confident. Yeah. And you say you want to deliver the BET Awards mm -hmm. to the country. You want to deliver a uh, Grammy. Grammy Award. Yeah. Talk to me about what you've achieved and what that means in terms of these awards and looking forward, your ambition? You know, growing up, I've always wanted to be rewarded. I've always wanted to be in a position where someone acknowledges the good that I've done and kind of rewards me. But we all like that. Yeah. We all want to be recognized. Yes. Uh, but some want to be recognized for doing nothing, but you have done quite a lot. Uh, we all want to be acknowledged. Yeah. We all want to be affirmed. Is that what these awards do to you? Yes, affirmation. Validation, it fulfills the, the, the process, fulfills whatever it is that I've been engaging unto, you know. You need these, these are pointers that the direction 
is all right, that anything is possible, that you can believe and achieve. You know, we all battling fear, we all battling uncertainty, and enough of the times, self doubt is the biggest around, considering the environment that we're in. Life is not easy. You wake up every day and you have a target, you have a dream, you have a point where you want to go to. And sometimes it gets difficult, sometimes you're defeated. Sometimes it doesn't happen the way you want. It doesn't happen at the right time. And all of these things combined, mm -hmm. you only wish to be at a position where something you have believed in is manifested into reality, is, you know, materialized in, 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 in real life. And this is the proof to me that Whatever dream, whatever thought process I engaged years ago, prayer, whatever I've wished for, all of that, that all these thoughts have been transmuted into their physical equivalent mm. to these awards. What, what do you think you need to do more of for you to achieve that ambition of a BT, BET award? and a Grammy, what do you still need to do to achieve those things? Work harder and work smarter. Have greater faith than before. It has to grow, you know, it has to go challenge yourself more to achieve more and more. It is the hunger, mm. essentially, that has to grow. You need to grow hungry and hungry mm. and work within that hunger purify yourself and stick to what you believe in. Have a vision, have a definite goal. Push it and just know that it's not gonna be easy, but as long as you stick to what you want to do, eventually whatever it is that you think about, you become what you think about mm. all day. Mm. We become what we think about enough of the time. Mm. So it's, it's thought centralized lately I discovered. All things are thought centralized. You create your reality within your mind. And the universe is out there and it conspires to send whatever it is that you have in your mind your way. So I just have to keep this mindset. I have to stick to it. Right. Stick to it. It's definite. I know I'm going to have to bring the Grammy. I have to bring the BT along. And as I leave, chances, opportunities in line to that will present themselves in my way. I just have to be ready. Mm. The, the, the other thing that has shown me that you are a very confident, uh, talented and humble person is you're not afraid of collaborating with big stars. You have uh, shared the stage with uh, Charlie Black, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Jack Praise, mm -hmm. uh, Mara Brown. Mm -hmm. You have been endorsed by Pato Ranking, I'm sure that was the most exciting that thing was exciting. Uh, when yeah. Pato Ranking said uh, you are the future of music in Africa. You have uh, played and performed with uh, the original Bob, uh, Bob Mar the Whalers. Mm -hmm. You have played with uh, Kaspar New Vest. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, in, like I said, uh, ja, ja Praiser Bakumba. And uh, Master Seed is a product of uh, world acclaimed, national acclaimed uh, musicians and producers. People like G -Day, DJ Tamuka, Pablo, Rodney Beats, mm -hmm. and Juicer Dementa. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the importance of collaboration to you, collaborating with other artists. Yeah, so, you know, there's a biblical saying that says a chord of three strands, two strands, if I'm not mistaken. The verse stipulates yes. about a, 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 two chords being powerful than one yeah. quote. So there's power in collaborating. You share energies and you become powerful when you merge than when you can you want to move alone and, and, and do certain things. So I love to collaborate. You mix creative substance and um, it opens you up. It's like iron sharpen iron sharpens mm. iron. That's why I love collaborating. Because I believe we are more powerful when we combined mm -hmm. than divided than pursuing our our journeys alone in so our you don't see collaboration as a threat to what you do no collaboration is actually an opportunity to grow mm -hmm. 
Because mm. if you can collaborate with someone who is, you know, more musically, more genius than you, that means you're going to learn one or two things. Mm. And about creativity, it differs from one point to, to it's never the same. Yeah. You always inherit mm. something from, from someone. You always learn something from someone because everybody else is important. Everybody else has something to teach you. And you are better when you, when you deduce mm. things from each individual. It's up to your, to, to your own and you become mm. a very diverse do, individual. Do you pay for some of these collaborations? Do you have to pay? Yeah. You have to pay. And you don't Sometimes, mind doing that? Yeah, because you know what? Um, it's like paying the price. Okay. There's a price. Okay. There is a price to, you know, there's a price in life to say that you pay. It's your faith. It's your hard work. It's your sweat. It's the hours. There is, is, there is a price somewhere, somehow to pay mm. in everything that you do. You find yourself in situations where you have to pay this individual to do this service for you, for you to go to the next stage, mm. you know. And I have been in situations where I've paid for some of my work. And it's normal to me. Because remember, we are also living in a business world. As much as we are musicians, the real life stipulates that every human being is in business. It's butter trade. Yeah. What are you selling? In the Iron Age and the, the medieval days, it's you giving me a cup and I give you mm. something in return. Mm. It's you giving me millimil and I give you a goat. It's always business, how we revolve around. It's based on the business. Mm -hmm. So you'd find yourself doing business with people and uh, the token that is di differ so token, now from... Yeah. Zim dollar, yeah, yeah. Tokens dollar. now differ from <laughs> which angle are you yeah, coming from? Yeah. You know, and what fulfills you? Someone wants money. Mm. Someone wants association. Someone wants to, to maintain the relationship. Someone wants... Uh, you know, different things, mm. but you have to pay the price. And, and some people are paying for what you're offering. I'm talking here about brand endorsements. Mm -hmm. Some people see value in you mm -hmm. and they've come to you. And some of those people are 2018 Zoll. You became a brand ambassador for Zoll. Mm -hmm. um, you have done uh, jingles for Sai Sai. The Sai Sai jing jingling jingle jingle is your product. Yeah. Uh, the UN Jingle on Sustainable Development uh, Goals is mm -hmm. your product. Youth Connect, you are an ambassador for Youth Connect. Mm -hmm. You're also an ambassador for Chicken and Simbisa brand. Yeah. So there's a token of exchange happening there's there. A, yeah. What, how important are these brand endorsements for you? They're important because these are the proper drivers of the craft. Um, speaking of the business side of the music, how do you convert how do you convert your, 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 your popularity into tangible materials? How do you convert your creative juice, your intangible uh, substances into tangible things? There has to be work and there has to be rewards. There has to be work and there has to be something uh, tangible coming in. And we, re we, we, we entirely depend on corporate endorsements the large, in the larger part if you're a musician, if you're a creative because that's where most of you know, best, ideally mm. the big checks come from you know, the big checks come from that side and also you being a business person you need to engage yeah. with, the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the corporate world mm. to prove yourself that you're a functional individual, mm. you can actually coexist with business people you're a serious individual, you're a bankable brand you are a bankable individual that can work with other people that are doing big things in the business scene. You as a creative, you create for the brands. It's broad now. You're into marketing, mm. advertising. With these brands, you're working within the system. So it's essential. It, feels, it fulfills me. It makes me feel like I, I'm a bankable brand. It makes me feel like I'm a big brand. You are a bankable brand. You are a bankable brand. Talk to me now about your sources of income. Is it live streaming? Is it live concerts? Is it CDs? Is it uh, product endorsements? Where do you get most of your money? 
So now it's these corporate endorsements mm-hmm. and affiliations, and also entirely now we live in a digital age. Zimbabwe has always been lagging, unfortunately, mm-hmm. with these things, with technology and all of these things. We are living in we are living in a space where we used to sell CDs, and it, it's a must. You had to sell CDs. It kind of passed, and now. No matter what you do, as long as you're a Zimbabwean musician, you have to go and perform live shows. Mm. This is the main source of income. You have to go and perform out there. You have to tirelessly <laughs> go out there and perform to make money. So performances and now corporate endorsements. Mm-hmm. And for me, differently, I feel like I'm, I, I've been learning music for a long time now. And thanks to my brother, in the U.S., Solid the Plug has been sending me material and encouraging me to, to learn and read about music and understand the music business and how you can benefit mm. and how you can convert, like I've said. It's all about the conversion, the, the conversion, the converting process. Now we live in a digital age. Mm. There are streams. And streams, if you really do your, your job well, if you really analyze your market, you really channel your energy rightfully within these processes. You can earn a decent mm. reward from, from streams. And this is where my focus is now. Because okay. now we're in an age where you have to make money whilst you're sleeping. Yeah. Your Spotify. Job, Spotify, YouTube, iTunes. iTunes. Deezer. All of these platforms. Google Play. Even Instagram, even Facebook, you can monetize your music on all these platforms now. TikTok, anything now can literally be monetized. So you, you see digital as an enabler and rather than a threat? Well, there, there are flip sides to it. Yeah. There are pros and cons in all of these things. A, an equivalent gain, any gain has an equivalent loss accompanying it. Any loss is an equivalent gain. So it's, it's both ways. But for, for, for the greater good, I feel like the digital phase has kind of benefited artists a lot, liberated them rather, you know, because now you don't need to go and sign to... <laughs> to be owned by somebody. Yes, you can do this on your own. As Nyaradzo, we strive to continuously bring convenience to our clients. Nyaradzo Group is proud to introduce Sawi a new virtual chatbot assistant on WhatsApp. With Sawi, you are now able to interact with us from the comfort of your home and can be assisted anytime via WhatsApp. With life assurance products, diaspora products, applying and assessing your policy, payment platforms, claims information, and any other queries concerning payments, policy information, or products and services, Simply WhatsApp Sawi on plus 263-712-992892 or register and start interacting and receiving notifications from Sawi on WhatsApp. Now, join in and experience a new level of convenience 24 hours a day with Sawi. So Nati, when you came into our offices, um, there was a lot of excitement. Uh, a lot of staff wanted to take pictures with you. And I'm wondering, how do you deal with this adulation, um, the praise around you, uh, the public focus, the pressure of being a public figure and being, being a role model and a star? How do you deal with that? You know, I just, um, I, I've, I always pre leave this moment hmm. yeah so when i get to a certain position when i step into any different room i've pre-leaved what's going to happen or all the probabilities so i am there calm and settled and just you know accepting what i see i embrace the love i just don't let it get to my head that is not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. You have to learn. And you make mistakes a lot of times. I, I'm i now, at this point, I now know how to manage it. And it also comes with, it, it, it comes in line with my character. I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm shy. 
hence I always try to stay away from from people. Mm. How how do you pre leave it? Walk us through that process. How do you pre leave going into a I, I, I see it. I see it in my in my I I vision I visualize it. It's like my creative process, like when I write songs, I visualize what's gonna happen after the song. When I'm writing the song, I visualize how people are gonna react. All the po- probabilities, all the possibilities, I visualize this. So when I, like now, when I'm in this situation where these things are literally happening, it's something that will not phase me because I have seen this before. To me, it's coming like deja vu. Oh yeah, I've seen this. So this is how I must just act. I will embrace it and just hold it from a distance and know that this love can be converted and I use it for good. This criticism, this whatever, this kind of energy, I can use this to be this. So that's with me. People say I'm I'm so humble to an extent that sometimes it bothers me. I end up <laughs> I end up looking at myself and I'll say, ah, but this, You're very humble. This must be You're yeah. confident and humble, like I like I said. But how do you deal with criticism? Criticism hurts sometimes. Yeah. How I do think, you deal with criticism? Uh, yeah, I think I, I don't I'm still learning to deal with it behind closed doors. I suffer a lot. Mm. I don't know how to handle criticism well, mm. especially when I'm being criticized on basis that I know I can defend myself. But me as a creative, as an artist, it's not, it's not every time I must mm. vocalize my opinion or come to the table and argue and defend myself. Mm. Uh, you know, but I struggle with this a lot. I don't deal with it a lot. Mm. Um, my people have witnessed this. The the my times when I just I'm just human. I'm just me. I want to respond. I want to <laughs> go into the fight and show them who you are. Yes, and, and, and you know, go into the fire and just be there and and and, and prove myself, fact for fact, word for word. But your stuff hold you back. Yeah. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they can't because I do this on my own. It's like closed, behind closed doors. You know, I'm in my most human moment. I end up doing certain mm. things. Post, I say certain things. I respond in a certain way. And, you know, before you know it, it's late. It's out there. In, and what do you do? Before you know it, it's late. It's out in the, in the public sphere. You deal with, with, with then have to... Now you're dealing with another bigger... <laughs> stage exactly. the anxiety of dealing owning your own errors and learning from them and accepting that you've you've messed up messed up you need to grow you need to be better you need to move and and, and you know that's done better can be better mm. move to the next stage and that kind of leaves with you for for a long time mm. you know so clearly Dealing with criticism is one of your weaknesses. Yes, I don't what, know how what's, to. What's the thing that you struggle with the, mo- the most in life and in business? Um, you know, um, I think I have developed uh, something that in me, uh, I'm barely satisfied. You're barely uh, satisfied? Yes, I'm barely satisfied. And sometimes I destroy my own good just because I'm not set aside and I'm not content. I, I, I refuse to be content with the same position. It, in, it incorporates impatience too. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, sometimes I want to do it now. Sometimes you don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. But the mode, the mode of life is, 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 is based on being patient sometimes. Mm-hmm. Time your things, wait. And you know, I feel like Time is moving. I'm late already to do certain things, and I end up doing wrong decisions and all of these things. But we've agreed that whatever is meant for you will come. Will, will come. Yeah. So where is that impatience coming from? It's it's now it's a it's a it's a, it's, a, it's, it's in an, an it's a burning fire inside. I, I guess it's the curse of being a great individual. It's the curse of you being. Like I, I, I scheme I am a type A behavior type of an individual. I stress a lot. Um, you know, because the paradigm is not always matching up. I'm a misfit in my own world. I barely you know They I, they say that this world 
has only been changed by misfits. Those who fit into this world will not change this world. For real. And that has a lot of pressure on your individuality, your personality. You, you go through a lot. Like, I stress a lot. Uh, you know, just trying to be somebody that people resonate with a lot of the times. Even when I'm writing my music, it, find, it took me three years to release this album because I was going back and forth with myself and other people too. Well, what, a, what a beautiful album it's, you've produced. Yeah. After a long time of just, you know, meticulously trying to, to, to bring, a, bring out a body of work that makes sense, mm. you know, held on to these songs for the longest time. And I was going, there was a lot of back and forth. It's me and myself and I <laughs> in the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Self-doubt. Every time. Mm. There are times I wake up and I feel like I'm not good enough to do this or maybe I haven't done enough to, to change mm. the narrative. Is there somebody that you go to for inspiration? Um, Is there a place that you go to for inspiration? Yes, yes. Do you have a mentor? Or? Uh, I, I, I have a place where I go to. Talk to me about that. I go to the mountains every time. Okay. Yes. I go to the mountains every time. There's a term that describes people who are inspired by nature. Mm. I've forgotten that term, that I'm inspired by nature. I always go to the mountains when I'm around the pristine Calm. goodness of nature, untamed environment. I heal, I release all the bad energy. I release everything that has nothing to do with me. And I, I, I refocus, I realign, I become powerful. Mm. I, That's a good place to be. I visit the mountains more than anything else. Wow. I visit the mountains more than the studio. Who has been the biggest influence in your career? You know, I, I, I would s s speak of a name. I mean, everybody inspires me because you learn something from everybody. Mm -hmm. Every situation, everything. In, so in essence, life itself has been the biggest influence. But God has the utmost influence on me. Wow. I feel like I'm favored. You know, there are things I've achieved mm. that sometimes I ask myself, you know, like I feel like I'm undeserving of certain things, but I still get these things. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm highly favored and God somehow communicates to the world through me. God communicates to other people using me as a vessel. That's how even I create, how even I write sometimes, how these songs come and how I get the inspiration. It's divine. It's nothing in the ordinary realm. So God has utmost influence on me. And the world is here. It's par also giving me all that I can resonate with. And I, I, it influences me. I influence it back. Wow. You know, um, Matthew, I could talk to you all day, and I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Is there anybody else who sings in the family? Where did, did, did any, does, does your mom, uh, dad, or brothers and sisters, does anybody sing in the family? Do they perform? Um, my granddad was a um, Methodist. Okay. Yeah. And... Uh, my mom told me that historically, through our lineage, uh, they were, uh, my four, 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 four fathers were great, great musicians. All right. It's like, it's, it, it's like you know, uh, if you believe in uh, the, 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 the lineages, our, 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 our background lineages, our, mm. our historical like, background as, as black people, mm. based on our totems and ETC. Uh, my mom told me that the Moyo Chirandus were in my linear, the, the full forefathers were very great musicians. Mm. And it's like it's a talent that was passed on to, like it, revo it, 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 it evolves around. Mm. So, yeah, I had a conversation with her sometime and says, Yo, your full forefathers were very great musicians, were great, great musicians. That's why it's, it's, I, I'm not surprised. Mm. You, you are at this point. 
your forefather he used to play instruments he used to sing well they used to influence people with their music so it's something that you have you have taken upon yourself mm-hmm. and you're going to be a great musician apart from your own music which other genres do you love which other music genres do you love i love every genre but most of the times i'm a rhythm and blues kind mm-hmm. i listen to a lot of rhythm and blues soulful music mm. yeah mm, the old school i favor the old school uh music uh, marvin gaye's uh jo thomas and all of these people i also love simon chopa chimbeto and uh-huh. paul mattiri uh-huh. i feel like as a generation we need to bring back that music some with some or incorporated in our modern sound mm. simon chupa chimbeto to me is is a, is a genius with his mm. pen Paul Mattiari to very beautiful poetry poetry and you know deep and makes you feel, touches the heart it hits the heart yeah i love mtukudzi wow. i once had a conversation with um, dr mtukudzi and he told me that if you aim at the heart you don't miss as far as music is concerned so when i create that's why it's so hard for me to to go other way if you tell me to write a song right now based on other things that are not motivational or inspirational things that doesn't have anything to do with empowering somebody i can't i will struggle to take me time you know fabricate a lot of things mm. yes, and i'll fabricate a lot of things but if it has anything to do with me empowering someone or inspiring some motivating giving power giving strength encouraging i can do this whole day mm. so when i write I aim at the heart just like what Tuku told me. <laughs> um um it's been absolutely amazing having this conversation with you and uh, I I have no doubt that you're going places. You are far wiser than your age. Uh Nati O. <laughs> I I'm not going to let you go before I ask you to share with our book loving audience out there what books you've read at least three books that you've read that have inspired you that would encourage our viewers to 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 read i've read um my favorite book of all time is a man thinketh by james allen um i've read uh think and grow rich napoleon hill mm. i've read um 48 laws of power the art of war right now i'm currently reading uh, how to deal with anger um because i also deal with anger mm. a lot mm. anger issues mm. i'm also reading music biz- music business 101 and the monk who sold his ferrari <laughs> it's a very very beautiful book. yeah it's a, that's deep yeah. very insightful mm. yeah the monk who sold his ferrari that's the book i'm currently reading right now wow nati o you are um, absolutely amazing like i said far much wiser than your 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 age uh you are humble but very confident uh you are authentic and um i wish you all the very best and uh, i i can see us sitting here in five years time and you will have your bet award and you'll have your grammy award you are so deep you are so you saw everything thank you i'm honored the same way thank it's an, it's an honor to be here you know it also requires it takes greatness to identify greatness it's an honor to be here in this great space having great conversations i believe i wouldn't have been here if i hadn't done something right because only people who do something right like come to this Absolutely. couch and <laughs> converse oh thank you for your kind words allow me now to tend to our viewers uh, nati o who are all over the world who watch this show uh, on a weekly basis remember we are a weekly show we are out every monday at 7 a.m. on youtube 7 a.m. central african time to ensure that you don't miss out on any of these quality conversations such as the exciting conversation that i've had with uh, nati or oh, please click onto this red button and subscribe when you subscribe 
you will receive an alert every time we have one of these quality conversation conversations. We have gone a step further and created podcasts on a lot of platforms, Spotify and, and many, many others. Uh, you go there and click for your listening pleasure so you can listen to these quality conversations as you run around, as you do, do your work. So uh, thank you so much for, for watching. Um, until next time, cheers to you all. Thank you.